Aloha and welcome back Trojan families. We hope that you are ready to start the new school year. We would like to take the time to go over new procedures and policies for the school year as well as introduce our support staff to you. As always, feel free to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. Welcome back to school. The most updated parent and student packet will always be found at this link. Please refer to it as needed. We would like to introduce you to our administration team. Principal Mr. Fred Murphy. For the class of 2021, Assistant Principal Mr. Kevin Matsuba. For the class of 2022, Assistant Principal Mrs. Joy Matsukawa. For the class of 2023, Assistant Principal Ms. Andrea Moore. For the class of 2024, Assistant Principal Ms. Robin Miller. For the class of 2024, Assistant Principal Ms. Renisha Kierstead. And our Athletic Director, Mr. Glenn Nita. We will now introduce you to our counseling department. For the class of 2021 with students whose last name begin with A through K, Mrs. Marcia George. For the class of 2021 with students whose last names begin with L through Z, Mrs. Brandy Ayala. For the class of 2022, with students whose last names begin with A through K, Mrs. Jamie Zane. For the class of 2022, with students whose last names begin with L through Z, Mrs. Michelle Chun. For the class of 2023, with students whose last names begin with A through K, Mrs. Kim Vincent. For the class of 2023, with students whose last names begin with L through Z, Mrs. Jerlyn Lay Silva. For the class of 2024, with students whose last names begin with A through K, Mr. Kawi Enomoto. For the class of 2024, with students whose last names begin with L through Z, Mrs. Malia Brown. Our outreach counselor is Mrs. Robin Sumida. Our college and career counselor for students with last names beginning with A through K is Mrs. Cindy Schrock. Our college and career counselor for students with last names beginning with L through Z is Mrs. Denise Yamamoto. The names of other support staff are here on the screen. Please note who to contact if you have any specific questions. Distance learning will begin on Monday, August 17, 2020 for all Oahu students. We will be distance learning for at least four weeks, which is until September 11, 2020. An announcement will be made by September 8, 2020 if distance learning will continue for the rest of quarter one. We will be implementing our bell schedule for school campus closures. A larger copy is included in your parent and student packet. All students will be following the same bell schedule for distance learning and will not be split into the brown and gold groups. If your family has already opted to be 100% distance learning, you will remain on your current plan for quarter one. You may revisit your plan at the previously designated deadline. In this section, we will be clarifying attendance and instruction requirements for distance learning. Students are required to attend all scheduled periods and will attend class through Google Meet or WebEx. Office hours are not mandatory unless a student is required to attend by a teacher, and all teachers will be available during office hours daily. 
Nililani High School will be using Google Drive, Google Classroom, and Google Meet or WebEx as a foundation for all classes. Students will need to use their Mililani HS.k12.hi.us account to access assignments, learning videos, discussions, and resources that will be posted in Google Drive or Classroom. Google Drive and Classroom will ensure continuity for all students as they transition between online and in-person learning. In order to help facilitate a safe and engaging learning environment online, Mililani High School has created online learning protocols that all students are expected to follow. MHS does adhere to Chapter 19 misconduct policies regarding student behavior, and failure to follow these protocols may result in consequences. All students must use a DOE managed account to access their learning. Students must remain present and engaged during any discussion or instructional time with teachers and must have a computer with working audio and camera. Students must work in a learning environment that is quiet and designated for learning. The area should include a place for the student to be sitting upright in a chair during any live session. There should be no lying down and no sitting with other people. There should be one person per seat. Students may not utilize any chat functions for non-instructional purposes, and the MHS dress code will apply. Students must be logged in to their Mililani HS.k12.hi.us account and be identifiable in name and image to their teacher. Students may not record any virtual sessions. In the event that a student is disruptive to the learning environment, teachers will attempt to work with the student to correct their behavior. If the student does not address the behavior, the student may be removed from the virtual room. If a student is removed from a virtual room, a referral to administration will be generated and parents will be contacted. If a Mililani High School student needs internet access because they do not have internet access at home, they will be able to make appointments to work in the cafeteria on a space available basis. Students will be given a socially distanced workspace and time in the cafeteria is strictly for internet usage. There will be minimal supervision and no tutoring or assistance available. Students will be emailed a link to sign up to use the cafeteria space no later than 12 p.m. the day before they are requesting a space. Students are not allowed to bring siblings with them, and if they are unable to work independently and behave appropriately, they will be restricted from making future appointments. At this time, we would like to share the most updated information we have about athletics. Please refer to this chart for fall, winter, and spring sports. All fall sports except for bowling will move to January 2021. Start dates and tryouts are still being discussed and will be announced at a later date. In the meantime, if your child is planning to participate in athletics, please complete your athletic physical so that students are ready to participate when they are able. As in previous years, all student athletes will need to complete grade checks and earn a 2.0 GPA with no apps. Our MHS Athletic Booster Club regrets to inform you that they will not be able to have their Christmas tree fundraiser this year. If you would still like to support MHS Athletics, please purchase flagship express car wash tickets. Please use the link in the slide deck to access the order form. Next, we have announcements about student activities by our ASMHS President and Vice President. Here at Mililani High School, there are 46 extracurricular and co-curricular organizations. They are divided into three types of clubs, academic, service, and special interests. Each club is advised by a faculty member at MHS. As we return to learn, our club advisors will be launching extracurricular programs as allowed by current COVID-19 state and DOE orders. Mililani High School is committed to maximizing opportunities for our students to participate in extracurricular activities and our annual club fair will be hosted virtually in September. The Students Activities Office is led by the Associated Students of Mililani High School. ASMHS is led by President Angelina Dulai and the Student Body Council, which is advised by Ms. Ward Reilly and Ms. Castro. ASMHS is located in B105, where you can get help with clubs, Trojan gear, and replacement IDs. 
Each grade level is led by their class council and supported by the faculty class advisor. The seniors are led by President Bethany Ballesteros and advised by Mr. Wagner. The juniors are led by President Jaslyn Mita and advised by Ms. Kaneko. The sophomores are led by President Atina Fonotti and advised by Ms. Markson. The freshman class is advised by Mr. Terrell. Officer elections will be via school Gmail. The 2024 Council has been working this summer to prepare for the new year. Officer elections for the class of 2024 will take place through Gmail from August 15 through August 18. Freshmen, start checking your Gmail regularly as that will be the official means of communication for the school and council. Learn about the candidates on our YouTube channel. Stay connected with student activities here at Mililani High School. We encourage all of you to follow us on our Instagram accounts and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This includes updates to Trojan gear and student announcements. Whether in person or online, Trojan pride all the time. We would like to invite all of you to our annual open house that will be hosted virtually this school year. Although we usually love to have all of our parents on campus, we are keeping everyone's health and safety in mind, and we look forward to having you all back on campus again when we are able. This year's virtual open house will be on August 19, 2020. Please save the date in your calendars. Our teachers will be uploading an introductory video to their Google Classrooms. On August 19th, please ask your child to log into their Google Classrooms so that you can view the videos for all of their classes. We hope you enjoy this year's open house. Please know that our teachers are all doing their best to provide a quality educational experience for our students this year. Mililani High School has a school website and an information website that is used to communicate news, updates, and important information. Please bookmark the websites listed in this slide to ensure that you are kept up to date with the latest information. If you need further assistance, please use this chart to contact us with your questions and concerns. Hello parents and families. From the College and Career Center, we would like to welcome you to our school and remind you that we are here to support all students with their post high school plans, including college, the military, and or full-time employment. To help serve our students best, we divide the school by last names, with Mrs. Cindy Schrock assisting families with last names starting with the letters A through K, and Mrs. Denise Yamamoto assisting families with last names starting with the letters L through Z. The CNCC 2020-2021 school year handout was given to every student or family who attended Jumpstart on July 25th. This document provides you with a great overview of the most important dates of the school year and we suggest you post it up on your refrigerator for quick reference. You can also find a digital copy available on our website. Please note that some event dates have changed, so check our CNCC webpage for the most updated information. The CNCC webpage is our main way of sharing information with the public and community. Please visit the website weekly to see updates, especially with college visits, events in the fall, and scholarships throughout the year. You can find the CNCC pages by clicking on Academics from the top main menu and selecting College and Career Center from the drop-down. The CNCC webpage will provide you with a lot of information. Please note the different pages and areas covered by clicking through the options in the brown bar on the left. A few highlights include upcoming events, bulletin information, scholarship listings, speaker sessions, SAT and ACT information, and student athlete information for both NCAA and NAIA. Due to COVID-19, regular updates will be posted to the CNCC website. Also, follow the College and Career Center on Instagram to stay informed about events and opportunities for your students. The high school years go by very quickly and it's never too early to start planning. Contact us if you have any questions or would like to schedule an appointment. The Mililani High School Parent Teacher Student Organization is a nonprofit organization that supports the high school in a multitude of ways. Please click the video attached to this PowerPoint to see some of the awesome work that our PTSO has done over the past couple of years. If you would like to join or contribute to the PTSO, please visit their Facebook page for more information. 
The Students and Parents Against Drugs and Alcohol raises awareness of important issues in our community. They also help to organize our project grad for our graduating seniors. If you have any questions or inquiries about this organization, please contact Mrs. Debbie Herrera. The Mililani High School School Community Council meets quarterly to address school issues and helps to ensure that we are progressing toward meeting school, district, and state goals. Some of the SCC functions include the items listed in this slide. If you have any questions or concerns that you would like addressed at SCC meetings, please email Principal Murphy at 1001-4146 at k12.hi.us. Even though times are uncertain right now, the faculty and staff at Mililani High School would like to reassure you that we are doing the best we can to support our students and help them to succeed. If you have any questions about any of this information, please contact us at MHS Community Help at mililanihs.k12.hi.us. If you are new to Mililani High School, please continue watching for more information for our new parents and students. Hello, new parents, and welcome to Mililani High School. Thank you for trusting your child to us. Your child will grow and change during their time with us. Many times, the best growth comes from challenges. Our goal is to support your child over the next few years to help them grow to their best potential by graduation. Chapter 19 are the guiding policies for the Department of Education. These guidelines are for the safety and security of our campus. These guidelines promote a secure educational environment inside and outside the classrooms. The goal is to discourage students from acting inappropriately and interfering with others' learning. There are four levels of infractions. Class A being the worst offenses include assault, drug use, and terroristic threatening. Class B offenses also include extreme offenses including harassment and bullying. Class A and B offenses can lead to suspension or even arrest. Class C and D offenses are less extreme examples of Chapter 19 infractions. However, they also will include discipline that can vary from counseling with a student, after school detention, Saturday detention, or possible suspension. The goal of all discipline is to eliminate the offending behavior of the student. If the behavior continues, the discipline of the student may increase. A few years ago, Melani High School started a first period tardy tracker. This was due to the frequency of first period tardies. The goal is to get students in their classes by the time the first period tardy bell rings. This maximizes instructional time for all students. If the students are not in their classes by the time the tardy bell rings, the student needs to pick up a tardy pass to enter the classroom. There are four tardy stations situated around campus. The tardy system scans the student's ID, then prints out a slip for the student to get into their class. If a student has six tardies, the tardy system automatically assigns them a 30-minute after-school detention. After 12 tardies, the student is assigned detention on Saturday from 8 a.m. to noon. Every six tardies after that, students will receive an additional Saturday detention. If the tardies continue, a parent conference will be arranged. Again, this is a system in place where the goal is to alleviate the unproductive behavior. Please review the dress code policy with your child found in your Jumpstart packet or on our school website. All students are expected to adhere to the Melanie High School dress code. We appreciate your child coming to school prepared and dressed appropriately. This includes any online classes they may have. Most dress code infractions are from shirts that don't cover midriff or from t-shirts, hats, or socks with profanity or that promote drugs, alcohol, or violence. If a student is out of dress code, they are sent to the security office where a t-shirt or shorts will be provided to them. There will be a school financial obligation if the clothing is not returned. Our goal is to get the student back to class as soon as possible. If there are several dress code infractions, the student may be assigned after school or Saturday detention. Mililani High School will be offering breakfast and lunch, which can be picked up as a grab-and-go meal for the first month of instruction. Parents can use the Easy School Pay system to add money to their child's lunch account 
or they can deposit money into their account through the drop box in the front office. Students will use their student IDs to scan for payment and receive their meal. The Hawaii Department of Education offers three honors recognition certificates that students can receive in addition to their high school diploma. Information about the academic, CTE, and STEM honors recognition certificates can be found on our school website under academics. Please contact us with any specific questions you might have. Wondering how to get your MHS Gmail account? Please use the information on this slide to log in to your MHS Gmail account. This information was also included in your freshman newsletter given out at Jumpstart. Thanks for joining us. As a reminder, if you have any questions, please email us at mhscommunityhelp at mililanihs.k12.hi.us.